Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. Our friend Cammie is here to share another one of her favorite things, which is going to be one of our favorite things. Hi, Cammie. Hi, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. What are we making today? We have homemade granola bars. So let me be raw for just a second. As a mom, I go through mom guilt all the time for things for, you know, letting my kids have a Twinkie once in a while or, you know, grabbing the quick snack. So this is something that if I can throw it together really fast and have it together, mm -hmm. they can actually, they like it. And I feel better about myself as a mom. <laughs> you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you an out on this. I, yeah. We couldn't have anything sweet. And when I got out of the house, I went crazy <laughs> okay. on sweets. I think it's a balance in life is the key, so okay. that's great. Well, they're, they're having a balance then, because yes. we're eating healthy today. So this is, we're, we went ahead and started this because we're going to brown up um, two and a half cups of rolled oats. Okay. So just toast it. You can do it in the oven for a couple minutes okay. or on the stove top. And that's also a half cup of almonds. And okay. he's mixing that all together. And while he's doing that, I'm melting, um, let's see, a quarter cup of unsalted butter. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add into that a third cup of honey. Okay. And really, I'm just heating this just so it all melts okay. together. Okay. So. I think I had that too high, Kimmy. Sorry. Oh. It is melting really fast. Really fast. <laughs> but what's interesting is you're not putting any butter or anything on this one. You're just browning it in this. No, pan. we'll we'll put it all together here okay. in a second. Yeah, okay. we're just kind of toasting now. Like I said, you can just turn on your oven for like at 350 for like I don't know three to five minutes, yeah. and it would do the same thing and just stir it once in a while. And while I'm trying to get this honey out, Kelly, okay, can sure. you grab a quarter cup of the brown sugar? Oh yes, I will. Mm -hmm. So this is cup. the butter, the honey, the brown mm. sugar, yeah. and then I'm going to add in a half teaspoon of vanilla. Excuse me. I'm going to oh use this goodness. half, and I'm going to just, let's see, a quarter is more than, a than half. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I put this? Close Over there? <laughs> yeah, put it, go ahead and put it with the butter. Yes, okay, put and it in there. Add a little bit more. Okay. And I'm also going to add a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt to the mixture okay. right here with the butter <clears throat> that I'm melting together. Right. The only reason why I'm heating it is so that that sugar melts, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So This looks see. delicious. Is this your recipe? No, I got it from a friend. I love it. Yeah, I love good friends that know how to cook. And I'm like, I want that recipe, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. So this it calls for kosher salt, but I brought my pink Him Himalayan. Have I you guys that. tried that? I, I do. Try I really that. like that. Mm -hmm. I use that. So it's a half teaspoon. I'm gonna. That's hard to do with those little shakers. I tell ya, I'm gonna just eyeball it because that's what I do, especially when I'm in a hurry. Me too. That's about a half teaspoon, don't you think? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Okay. So. Okay. Looking good. Now, Kelly, can you yes, chop up a half cup of those dried cranberries? Okay. Just kind of roughly chop them. Okay. And again, this recipe is so forgiving. So, if you don't like something, don't put it in. And if you like something else different, then add it in. Add it in, absolutely. Yeah. You can do your own thing. Yep. So, this is just about melted up. You know, I love dried cranberries. I, I almost like them more than raisins. I do. I really don't do. I don't yes. know why, but they are my favorite. Mm -hmm. I like to throw them in salad and all kinds of oh, things. Oh, me too. Okay. Is that getting brown enough, brown enough? I think it's good for today. Okay. Don't you think? I was like, I'm, I'm really tossing <laughs> yeah. here. Yeah. Now, where do I add these? Okay, let's all just add it all together here. So let's right turn here? off the. Turn off the heat? Yep. Okay. Yeah, let's just put it in that pan. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and dump the butter, brown sugar, vanilla, oh, no. salt. That looks great. And we can turn off this burner over here. Okay, yes. Okay, off. Awesome. Okay. And the only thing we have left, make sure I've got everything in there, is some mini chocolate chips. And I went with some semi-sweet. You could put on whatever kind or leave mm -hmm. them out, you know. But this is a quarter cup plus two tablespoons. But, again, I don't really, I'm not that exact. So I'm just going to kind of throw some in here. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Get a general idea and it's all good. Yeah. That may be too many, but that's okay. I like Ooh, that's, that's okay. Nice. It's not too yeah. many. Mix that together. Do you want them to melt or no? You know, it's actually okay if they do. I didn't want them to melt completely, but if they do, it's okay. Sorry, it kind of holds them together even more, you know? Yeah, a little bit more so crazy it's totally here. okay if they melt. And then I'm going to take some parchment paper and put it into my okay. baking dish where we're going to pour that mixture. That looks so good. Kind of running out of space to work here. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Yes, we have a small kitchen. <laughs> All right, and okay. dump that. I am not going to burn you, Cami. I promise. I'm not going to burn you. This is how much do I trust Jeremy? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> 
So this makes about 12 bars. So once it cools down, all you have to do is kind of just cut it into strips. Okay. You can put it in Ziplocs and just store it on the counter. Oh, that sounds so, great. So you don't, yeah, you don't have to have it in the fridge or anything like that? No, you don't. I'm going to tilt this up so the camera yes. can see this. So you flatten it out, Cam, is that right? That's right. Once it cools enough that it doesn't just completely fall apart, cut it into strips, and you've got homemade granola bars. Okay, so you don't have to bake it? You no. Think? Oh, it's done. That's it. It's, it's like done. a no-bake. I love that. Yeah. That's fantastic. Can I eat the See, spatula? I want to eat that Absolutely. spoon, too. It might be kind of hot. <laughs> don't burn yourself. That is so good. Yeah, give me a spoon. Let's try it. Now. Okay, let's try it. Here we go. Okay. Oh. It's kind of like cookie dough. I kind of like cookie dough better than cookies. You know what I mean? Oh, mm. it mm -hmm. tastes like that. Mm -hmm. The melted chocolate. Mm -hmm. Wow. We're that good. is amazing. Mm -hmm. That's so good. That's so easy, good. easy, and I know what's in it compared to things so I buy at the store. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Cammy. We love it. Yeah. Mm, that's delicious. Mm -hmm. Coming up, the Queen City Sertoma's Cajun Cook-Off is this weekend, and we're talking all things Cajun right after this. I love it. Can mm. I have another little bite? Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. It's so good. It's so delicious.